Hey, I'm Plus. And I'm Minus. And today we're going to be talking to you about stirring and mixing other things. Yeah, whisk. Alright guys, so if you saw the last video we did, we talked a little bit about the stuff you're going to need for a kitchen. And here we've got some of those things. we got our spoon, whisk, spatula, spoon, bigger, bigger, spoon. bigger spoon, and we've got our electric beater. And uh, now we're going to show you how to more get into just specifically use each one of these things. Yeah. Because a lot of people will think, oh, it says stir. I mean, that's the same thing. Grab this thing, wrap around. Boom, done. Yeah. Not necessarily. That's not necessarily the case. What? Tell me more. I will, Minus. I'll tell you so much more. All right. So let's start. First, you get your mixing bowl. Whatever you're mixing in. For this, we're using a uh, an eight cup me measuring measuring cup that we used for the measuring video. Yeah, you might have put out one of these, so get the biggest bowl you got and just put stuff in there. Yep. So first let's go over stirring. A lot of the recipes will tell you just to stir. And we so won't, like, typically you won't stir it, then it's just a bit, you'll stir it like a pot. You know? Yeah. And uh, well, what you got, you got your wooden spoon or a big spoon or anything, and you stick it in, and it's just a lot of circular motion until things are like pretty much all in there, you know? Yeah. It's you know. just... Stir it, yeah, it's feel good. You get circular ish motion. You gotta keep stirring, keep stirring, keep yeah. stirring. Like ramen noodles, you gotta keep stirring until it's all it's all good. Next you got whisking. Mm -hmm. uh, with whisking, whisking, it's it's circular motion but really fast and really small circles. Yeah. All across the proper term is actually beating. No? Well yeah, you see gotta, you've got your whisk. You gotta beat the, you and then you got, no, beat see beating beating is faster. And then you got a faster one called cream, and then the fastest one called whipping. And those are used usually with your electric beaters. Most of them, they've got different speed settings, so the slowest one is probably just going to be a good good whisk. Uh, the second one's probably going to be a, a little bit faster whisk. Third one's going to be beat. Fourth one, cream. Fifth one's going to be your, your whip. And if you don't have a whisk, you use a fork. And you can use a fork, but uh, it's you might want to do it a little bit longer, yeah. So, with uh, with your electric beater, you're gonna uh, hold it steady and just do circular motions all around your bowl. Don't forget to plug it into a uh, outlet. Not may maybe not yourself. And uh, here's another thing: folding with the spatula. You know, sometimes you're making an omelet and you're like, "How do they fold it so great?" And you try it with a fork or like a spoon. Tears apart and you're like, oh, this is an omelet. What you do is you get your, you get your spatula, get a spot, flip it over, and you're done. And you can, this isn't just for eggs either, that's just an like example. You can use it for burgers. It's a spatula. Watch SpongeBob. Yep, so those are our basics. So now let's go and, uh, let's go and try them with a little bit of flour and water to show you what it actually looks like in a bowl. We're back, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of uh, water into some flour. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You always, you always do dry and so then liquids. When you're, when you're mixing things, you're gonna put your dries in first, and yeah. then you're gonna put your liquids in. And then do the honors. Oh my god. Here you go. Alright, let's get the flour out of the way. Now, uh... Bubbles. Alright, now let's do a little bit of a stirring first with that wooden spoon, right? Stirring is so, mainly for veggies and... Yep, you know, circular motions. So, I mean, not really the right example to use for stirring, but still, it might help. Uh, you just do circular motions. Now, obviously, like we said, it's not usually for mixing flour into water or cake batter or all that, any of that pre-made stuff. So it's not really going to work that well in this situation for us right now. But something that will work is using a, a whisk. whisk. And now, what you do for whisks is you do small circular motions yeah, really you, fast. You, you do it at an angle, you know? Yeah. You, know, you just want to just, just get in there, you know? You just, just want to get in there, you know? You just got to whisk it all everywhere around. You make sure all that, you know, no clumps, make sure it's off. And then once, once everything's, you know, and creamified in liquid form, it's, it's done. Now, whipping, you gotta go like super fast, like Sanic fast, you know? Like 
Santa, you can't go until it goes like all poofy and fluffy. You know, I don't want to do this until it does that because that would take a long time with this amount of flour and water. But we'll, you'll get the idea. We'll show you some. We'll show you when we do some other other videos. When we have but, ingredients, you know, we don't yeah, get paid. Actually, gotta get that money. So, um, yeah, that's our video. That's how you mix things. And uh, hold on, for folding. You gotta do this. Oh, yep. You, yeah. you pick folding. it up and then you, you fold it over. You gotta do it folding with uh, this it good old flour, flour water mix we got here that runs like water. Right, yep. See you Here's an example. So, see. You gotta, gotta have hand. it. Flip my hand. <laughs> flip my right hand. So I'm, I'm front making an omelet here and you gotta stick it under. You gotta flip it over. And that's, that's, that's. You got that's an omelet. Cool. It's folding. Alright. Well, that's, our that's been our video on measuring. Tune in next time. I don't know. We might. We might start a little bit more complicated things. Who and knows? actually start cooking, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Hit him. Um, yeah, so, uh, so uh, prepare well, the big A. Like we'll and subscribe. And see you around.